For the demo, I'm using a machine running the new Windows 11 and EZ Smart Security Premium version 15. Let's start the demo by highlighting one of the improved features, EZ Home, which was previously known as My EZ. EZ Home provides increased visibility and control over all your EZ Home products. I will quickly go to home.eset.com and log in. Eset Home connects multiple features to help you navigate and get the most out of your Eset Home products. Eset Home provides license and device management along with web services such as parental control, anti-theft and password manager. Let's view all the license we have by clicking on show all licenses. You can now see we have EZ Smart Security License and EZ Parental Control for Android associated with this EZ Home account. At a glance, it gives us information such as the license type, could be paid or trial, next payment date, and the number of licenses we purchased, used, and are available to be used. Opening the EZ Smart Security Premium License, you would notice the Android demo device is connected and protected using this license. Going into devices more information, you would notice product which was activated and when. You would notice the anti-theft option is also enabled for this device. The second device is demo machine, which is protected by the same license. Product being ESIT Smart Security Premium again with its activation date but you would notice how this device is not connected to this ESET home account. Let's connect that device and show you how simple it is to connect your ESET security product with your ESET home account. Let's start by clicking on the ESET home option on the title bar and choosing connect to ESET home. Do note all the old My ESET accounts can also be used to connect your device to ESET home. If you don't have an ESET Home account, you can simply choose to create one. One can simply log in using their credentials or using their Google or Apple account or just using the QR code to sign in. I will use the QR code and use my ESET Home app on my phone to sign in. I will open the menu and choose the scan a QR code option twice. I'll scan the code and choose Connect Device option. On the PC, I'll just choose the name and hit Continue. It was this easy to connect your ESET Home Security product to the ESET Home account. And yes, you can use the ESET Home app on your Android or iOS devices to manage your licenses. We have also changed the name of Connected Home to Network Inspector. The now improved Network Inspector helps to protect your network and IoT devices by identifying vulnerabilities in your home network. For example, if I open the router, it can give me a list of open ports or even warn me if a weak router password is used. It also provides a list of connected devices categorized by device type to show you what is connected to your network. For example, I have my PlayStation 5, TV, work laptop, and other devices connected to my home network. You can also recategorize a device by opening it up and choosing the device type in this drop-down menu. I will change my Alexa Echo from Home Automation System to Audio as I use it more as a smart speaker. Now, let's show you the new password manager. EZ's password manager is available as a mobile app and browser extension. If we click on view download option, it will take you to the downloads page. You will notice it is available for Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Android, iOS, and Safari. I already have the extension installed, so I will log into the password manager by opening the extension and using my credentials.
you can easily store your passwords here by choosing the add account option and filling in the details or saving the credentials when you log into the website. To use any of your stored password, you can simply choose the account from the password manager. For this demo, I'll open my office account by selecting it and choose the password manager to fill in my credentials. On the password manager, you can also add identities, which helps you automatically fill out lengthy online forms. You don't have to worry about coming up with strong passwords either with this password generator. Secure.me allows you to log out of all your accounts remotely. You can use notes to securely store your Wi-Fi passwords, passport information, etc. And select hide preview if you do not want the text, for example, password shown in the preview. Security report lets you see the score of your passwords. For example, if your master password is not strong enough, password manager will help you change it. Now we will jump into secure data. With secure data, you can choose to create a virtual drive on your computer that encrypts all the stored data in it, or you create an encrypted folder on a removable drive such as a USB stick. Let's show you how easy it is to secure your data by creating an encrypted virtual drive. We will choose a location and define a name for this encrypted virtual drive, and we'll also choose the desired capacity for this drive and continue. To finish it off, we will set up the password and disable the option to decrypt this drive automatically for this Windows account. And just like that, you have your own encrypted drive. To open this drive, simply double click and enter your password. Once you have retrieved or saved data into this drive, you can simply lock it by ejecting the encrypted drive. We have another new layer of protection, LiveGuard, which is built into ESET Smart Security Premium. This new security layer uses a first-class protection technology to discover and stop never-before-seen threats by analyzing their behavior in a cloud sandbox. This is the same AI-driven cloud sandbox enriched with machine learning which our business customers have access to. With LifeGuard enabled, analysis of sample behavior for unknown or zero-day threat and vulnerability takes a maximum of five minutes wait time. After which, if the sample is deemed malicious, the process would be killed and cleaned. We also have built-in device control module, which allows you to block and define a user's ability to access and work with a given device such as CD, DVD, USB, Bluetooth, etc. The host intrusion prevention system protects your system from malware and unwanted activity attempting to negatively affect your computer. This module also houses our business grade ransomware shield. Ransomware shield monitors behavior of any application or process that tries to modify files in the way common for a ransomware or a file coder. We also have a dedicated gamer mode. Once enabled, it suppresses all the notifications and pauses scheduled tasks. System protection still runs in the background, but does not demand any user interaction when the gamer mode is turned on. Gamer mode can also be used for presentations. ESIN also comes equipped with webcam protection, which informs you about any process or application that tries to access your computer's web camera. 
when an unwanted application tries to access your camera, you get a notification to allow or block the access. Seeing we didn't allow the access, you get a blank screen instead of the camera feed. ESIT also has the standard web protection, which detects and blocks website with malicious content. We also do email client protection along with anti-spam functionality when you access emails through the following email client, Microsoft Outlook, Outlook Express, Windows Mail, and Windows Live Mail. Another standard feature, yet very important, is the anti-phishing. Haven't we all clicked on a link we were not supposed to and followed the instruction on the page? Well, if you're running ESET, I will showcase exactly what happens when you click on a phishing link. For the demo, I'll use this third-party test page, which can verify if your security product detects phishing page or not. As soon as we launch the test, you are stopped with an ESET alert. Similarly, you will be alerted anytime you click on a phishing link. ESET also has built-in firewall to filter incoming and outgoing traffic. Network attack protection layer, which detects incoming attacks, and botnet protection, which detects and blocks any application or process which is trying to communicate with known command and control servers. Now, let's look at the Banking and Payment Protection Browser, which is an additional layer of security designed to protect your financial data during online transactions. Let's go back to our web browser and try and open a banking website. As soon as we try to log in, we are prompted if we would like to continue browsing with more protection. Choosing yes will open a secured instance of your web browser. The secure browser is highlighted with the yellow border here. And if we look at the warning, we can clearly see the computer is controlled by a remote access application, which is correct as I am remoting onto this demo machine. If your machine is not getting controlled remotely, you will get a green border instead and a secured by ESET badge instead of this warning. You can also access Secure Browser through the shortcut for ESET Banking and Payment Protection from your desktop. If you choose to, you can also secure all your browser windows by enabling the Secure All Browser option. I would now showcase the Parental Control module. This module allows you to configure parental control settings, which provide parents with automated tools to help protect their children and set restrictions for devices and services. You can easily turn it on by flicking the switch in front of the parental control. Once enabled, you can choose to enable it on your child's Windows account. Seeing I only have one account on the system, I will just enable it for the demo user. And it is the same user I'm logged in as. We can now look into the blocked content and settings. Here you can define your child's age. And under categories, you can choose the content that you would like to enable or block. A tick mark under the enabled box means allowed. For example, adult content is blocked, whereas arts is allowed. Scrolling down a bit, you will notice chats and social networking is also blocked by default. Taking this as an example, I'll go back into the web browser and I'll try and open Instagram. And as you can see, it is blocked by ESIT's parental control feature. One of the last feature is anti-theft, which provides protection of your computer in case of loss or theft. Seeing we already connected this ESIT Smart Security Premium to ESIT Home account, we can easily turn on the anti-theft module by clicking on the switch and entering your settings password for confirmation. Now, let's say you have lost this computer 
or someone has stolen it, you can use any other computer to mark this demo machine as missing. We have now switched to another Windows computer. We will go to home.esa.com and log in with the same account which our demo machine is linked with. Now I'll go to the anti-theft option and I'll open the demo machine and mark it as missing. Within a couple of minutes, it locks the demo machine down and captures location, IP address, screenshot of the device and images from the front camera. Looks like a man disguised as Mario has got access to our demo machine. And finally, to wrap up the demo, I'll show you the security report which is available under Tools, More Tools, Security Report. This shows us the summary of how ESIT security has predicted you, like the number of blocked web pages, application scanned, blocked access to webcam, etc. And now Anthony will continue with his slides.